Good afternoon, church family. I'm so glad to be able to greet you. This is a midweek update, and that means that something new has changed, and we are so excited about this. Yesterday afternoon, the governor of North Carolina, Roy Cooper, signed executive order number 138, which uh, began the lifting of the stay-at-home restrictions placed on us about six weeks ago. This is good news for our church because it means it's time for us to begin again to, to meet together. Uh, we're going to do it slowly but, uh, uh, and according to his uh, instructions, but we are excited about that opportunity. So here's the announcement. This coming Sunday morning, we are going to have several opportunities for you to worship. The first one is at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we will meet in front of our church building that is on the Branch View side with the steps. Uh, we will have it set up so that uh, you have two choices if you were to come to that meeting. Uh, so at 9 o'clock we'll gather. Uh, there will be seats set up uh, on, the, on that first row of, uh, of parking. And so you can take your seat. They'll be appropriately distanced. We ask that, um, that you... Uh, come and maintain those kinds of social distancing. Also, we recommend that you wear something comfortable, something warm, because it'll be a cool morning, uh, something comfortable, something warm, and also sunglasses, because you might need them. But uh, come out, and we'll worship together. That worship experience will be about a half an hour long. But if you say, well, pastor, I'd love to be there, but I just don't, I'm not ready to get back with everybody yet. Uh, we have an alternative for you. At nine o'clock, same place, we ask that you drive your car. You can stay in your car and we will have an FM uh, channel for you to tune to and you can use it like a drive-in movie. So uh, same time, nine o'clock, same place, Branch View side of our church building, you have two choices. You can come out and sit with your family uh, or you can stay in your car and, and participate in that way. If you are going to leave your car and, uh, and, and sit in the chairs that are provided, what we ask you to do is to park on the ABC preschool side of the church and then walk around. The parking spaces that we'll have open will be for those who are going to use it as a drive-in uh, drive experience. But this is great news. We finally get to be together, and, uh, and we will do that. That service will be a shorter service. It'll be somewhere between 30 minutes and 45 minutes. If you've ever been to one of our Easter sunrise services, imagine that. That's going to be what it's kind of going to be like. We'll sing some together. We'll read Scripture together. Uh, we will pray together, and I will bring an admonition to us. It won't be quite the sermon that I preach in the second service, but it will be uh, uh, bringing God's Word to bear on our lives. So all of that will be at 9 o'clock this coming Sunday morning. I am so excited to be back with you. Uh, at 1045, we will have our typical live stream service from within the sanctuary. And so you have time to leave here after our nine o'clock service, go home, and then watch our normal Sunday morning service on, on live stream. And so that's what we'll do, and that's what we'll do for some weeks to come. And then we'll wait for phase two to be, to be brought to us. So these are good news. Let me tell you one more thing about next week. Uh, our, our offices which have been manned since the beginning, but we've asked you not to come. Our offices will be open for significant um, business that needs to be done. And so uh, if you need to do something here at the church, what I ask you to do is call ahead. And then when you come, come uh, using the, uh, the guidelines that you would use if you were to go into Food Lion or if you were to go into Sam's or somewhere like that. Uh, we recommend you wearing a face mask, and uh, if you have business with us, we'll set a time and you can do that with us. So uh, all of that, we're, we're trying to move back to normalcy, and so uh, if you'll participate with us in those things, we will appreciate it. So please follow the social distancing guidelines. Uh, let's, um, I read this earlier in the week. Let me, let me just remind you from Romans 15. That, uh, that we really are to take care uh, of one another. 
So it says this, each of us is to please his neighbor for his good, that is your neighbor's good, to his edification. Uh, and then, um, so let's do this, let's, let's uh, act in such a way that we are caring for others. I know that right now we're in a kind of a turbulent time. Uh, it's divided by those who are wanting to distance themselves and those who are thinking that we ought not to. Uh, let me just encourage you that for the love of your neighbor, to love your neighbor as you love yourself, let's, uh, let's protect the most vulnerable. So all of that, that's good news. Uh, I can't wait to see you Sunday morning. God bless you. Have a great day.